Let's take a look at what's going on with our forecast. Uh, we are, of course, still tracking Adalia as it's a tropical storm now moving through South Georgia and into South Carolina. This thing is still packing quite a punch. Sustained winds at 70 miles per hour in the core, 85 mile per hour wind gusts. But what you don't see represented in symbols and whatnot is the rainfall. Incredible amounts of rain falling throughout Central Georgia, right up through the Carolinas and up into portions of uh, Virginia, too. So a lot happening with this storm, but it is is on the move. It's going to meander its way back out over the ocean here over the next 72 hours. And once it does so, it's going to head off toward Bermuda and will be nothing but a problem for the fishes, with the exception of the island of Bermuda, as a tropical storm possibly by Sunday. Now, that storm system that's sitting down here off to the south is, uh, you know, just one part of our forecast. We have uh, the cloud cover off to the south of us that has been overriding all the clouds that have been coming in here courtesy of Lake Erie. So we kind of have two different layers of clouds that have been rolling in. Over the next few hours, we will stay cloudy here in Northeast Ohio, and the chill is definitely in the air. We're going to be in the 50s as we get into the start of the day tomorrow. We should be dry, with the exception of some little sprinkles and whatnot. I think dry conditions will prevail for us. But there you see those high, thin clouds coming in off of Adalia. And if we zoom in now, you can see the radar that is still showing some Lake effect rain showers. Oh, it's just hard the first time of the season that you say it. So yes, we do have those showers that are coming in, but what you don't see, and then maybe it'll populate, there it is, is the cloud cover. And we've had a lot of cloud cover, not just off of Lake Erie, but Lake Huron getting into the mix. And of course, a cold front that has also been coming in. And now you can kind of see the layering of the two different types of clouds, the very moisture laden, low level, warm cumulus clouds coming off of the lake and the high level cirrus icy clouds coming off of the uh, tropical storm. Now, the big picture shows the steering currents in the atmosphere, and watch what happens over the next couple of days. The trough, this little dip here that is represented by the cold front that we have that has moved through, that is going to push out, and as it pushes out, it will open the door for the warmer air to begin to move. That warm air really comes at us Hot and heavy, if you will. As we go through the weekend, we're expecting temperatures to hike into the upper 80s by Saturday, and we are looking at 90s potentially through the early part of next week. The other part of it is that the storm track completely shifts with this. So all of our storm systems, the rain chances will be well off to the north of us, and that means that not only do we have warm temperatures, but we have a dry stretch that's going to be with us. And it's really not until the latter part of next week that we start to bring rain chances back. That doesn't mean we are without humidity, though. We will see the humidity creeping back in. But because it's so hot, I don't think it's going to be so bad for us. Here's your National Design Mar hour by hour forecast. Tomorrow we only make it to around 70 or so here in Cleveland, maybe a couple clicks warmer farther south. But all of us get to enjoy some sunshine. Union Home Mortgage forecast just does all kinds of baby steps from there. We're going to be in the upper 70s by the end of Friday. We're looking at 80s as we go through the weekend, and there you see it. We've got the 90s coming our way for the holiday weekend and beyond.